everyone. Welcome to Best Best Hair. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, I just want to let you know that normally I do wig reviews. Today I thought it would be a fun change of pace to take our cute short bob styles and show you some fun hairstyling options that you can do with short bobs. Now this works with your own bio hair if you have a short bob cut or a mid-length bob cut, but it also works with wigs. So I am wearing wigs by Paula Young. This is CC and her color is Capri Copper. I also have CC and two other colors. I have her in Parisian Blonde and in Tuscany Toast. Both of those are a rooted, kind of a dark blonde or bronze color. But we're not doing a wig review and we're not going over the colors. I just wanna give you styling ideas. Super simple, super easy, super fun. So we can take these cute little bobs to the next level. I should note that as of filming this video, all three of these colors of CC are still available on the Polly Young website. If you expand the description box below, I will have the link to CC. She is on clearance at Polly Young, so you will want to snatch her up if you are looking for a cute bob. So wigs are a fun way to change your look. If you don't have a bob or you're maybe trying to grow your hair out from a short hairstyle or if you're like me and you suffer from alopecia, it's a great option. And so today I just want to show you these easy styles. So let's get styling. Let's start with the hair parted on the side and I'm going to work on a small twist on the top. Pull some of the hair over because I will be putting the twist underneath. And you can tuck on the twist a little bit so it's a little bit looser and not perfectly tight. And I'm securing with just a bobby pin. Then I'll take that remaining hair and fluff it up over top of those twists. I'm also going to add one twist on the other side. And I'll do the same thing, secure with the bobby pin, fluff the hair up. And what a fun and cute look. Now we'll gather the hair at the top and I'm using a little silicone coated rubber band. I have a link below to my Amazon store and I do have those silicone bands in the Amazon store. However, you can purchase those at Walmart. You can purchase those at Dollar Tree or you can even get them at the farm supply store in the horse section for braiding horses' manes. <laughs> How cute is that? So I just did two ponytails and I just fluffed them up a little bit. All right, for this one, I'm gonna do another ponytail, but on that third time, I'm pulling it through and leaving it as a bun. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side Now I'm gonna turn these into some little messy buns on top. You guys, this is my ode to Hocus Pocus. <laughs> the movie coming out for Halloween, actually I think it's already out, Bette Midler style. So this would be a cute, fun little style if you're going out for Halloween um, or just a fun style for any day of the week. So take a few bobby pins and tuck that in to get the buns the way that you like it. I like things to be a little bit messy, kind of haphazard. And then I'm just tugging on it a little bit to loosen it up so it's not so tight. But how fun is that? Now I'm switching to CC and Parisian Blonde. The color code is 1426 number six. So I have it parted on the left side and on the left side, I just did a twist with two pieces of hair and then I'm loosening the twist and I'm securing with a bobby pin. I'm letting some of the hair fall over top and I'm tugging up that twist. 
Now I'll fluff up the other side a little bit. There you go, just a cute little easy twist. Here I'm going to section the hair and I'm going to start doing some twists on top. I will secure with a bobby pin. And now I'll do another section, but I'm gonna twist the hair in the opposite direction. Again, secure with a bobby pin. And I'm going to do one more twist on the other side. Again, I'm gonna twist this one in the opposite direction. Secure with a bobby pin. Now I'll loosen up those twists a little bit as you like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fluff up the hair behind the twist. Like I said, I like things messy and not perfect. I think that looks so cute. It really accentuates the highlights in this one. I think this is my favorite color. So let's add to this. I'm gonna take part of the hair from the back and I'm just gonna twist it into a top knot bun. Now I'm gonna take one of those silicone binders and just wrap it around that hair. I'm gonna wrap it around twice and then I'm just going to start loosening it and messing it up. And if I have some stray hairs, I will secure that with bobby pins. And I just love this. I think this is a super cute look. Great for shopping at the mall day or going out with your friends. I love it. All right, for this one, I'm going to take a section from each part and pull it to the back. Then I will twist it up and I'm going to secure that with a claw clip. Now I'm going to tease that hair just a little bit just to give it a little more volume and height. And I think that that is a super cute look. A little bit fell out. I didn't have it quite secured, but I like it. That's the fun thing. You can just go with it. Just try different styles and, and just have fun. All right, so this is another rope braid. This one I'm leaving right on top and I just secured with a claw clip. Super simple and super cute. I love that. That is a super easy look. I like to wear that for my workday style. This one, I just wanna show you how I do an ear tuck and I pull a little bit of hair out in front of the ear and then some behind. And I think that's just kind of a sophisticated look. I like it. These bobs are so much fun. Now I've switched to CC and Tuscany Toast. That code is 1026 number eight. So I'm just smoothing down a section of the hair in front and I'm securing with a bobby pin and tucking the remainder behind my ear. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I will fluff up the remaining hair on top and let it fall over the pieces that I just bobby pinned. This is great if the wind is blowing and you don't like your hair blowing in your face or you wanna make sure it stays out of your face. All right, here I'm just gonna gather the hair up at the top and I'm using one of those binders again and putting in a little ponytail. Kind of tug on that a little bit to loosen and give you a little height and volume. Now I'm just gonna take the rat tail end of my comb and grab a section from each side of that ponytail. Now I'll crisscross those in front of the ponytail and then secure them underneath that ponytail with another binder. Now flip that back over, tug on things a little bit, loosen it up. I'm just teasing that hair a little bit for some volume. I love this look. It's one of my favorite styles.
I think the crisscross just gives it a little extra something something. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna do a twist on one side. And I'll just loosen up that twist, secure with a bobby pin. Now I'm going to take some of the hair from underneath that twist and twist it over in the other direction, crisscrossing over the twist I just made. Again, secure with a bobby pin. Now I'm going to take that other section, twist over and secure with another bobby pin. Just a little bit of a crisscross effect. Loosen things as you like, fluff as you like. <laughs> I'm fluffy, what can I say? But how cute is that? I really think that's fun. All right, I'm just doing another twist here. I used to do this with my bio hair and I would include my bio hair in the twist and that really keeps things looking natural. Now I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and I'm literally ratting the other side because I really want to get some volume. So I'm just poofing that up. I think that is super cute. Okay, and this one, I'm just showing you another option for an ear tuck where you leave some of the hair out in front and tuck certain pieces behind. If you really want those to hold, you could always use bobby pins too. Okay, I'm gonna gather the hair at the top of my head. And then I'm just gonna take bobby pins. And I'm going to secure with bobby pins and I'm going to keep adding bobby pins. Now, if you had some sparkly bobby pins or colored bobby pins, this would be really cute. Just a little bit of an artsy type effect. And I think it's fun, something different. I fluff it up a little bit, just so it's not perfectly tight. Another cute style. I hope you enjoyed the styling video for the short bobs, and I hope that it gave you some inspiration to play around with your hair or to play around with wigs. It is so much fun. And if you do like styling videos, I'm gonna link a video over here. This was my bridal styling tutorial video. I did a mother of the bride, a bridesmaid, and I did a long braid for the bride. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.